Like I'm going over to Boston now and I'm a little worried that it's not like New York and I'm sure my Boston people are not too happy to hear that, but it's the truth. <laughs> We had a patient come in um, who had congenitally no inferior vena cava, and the inferior vena cava is the major vein in the body, um, and they congenitally didn't have one. So we had to go in and essentially create a new one for them using wires and balloons and stents. And uh, it was a two-day procedure. Both procedures were like eight hours long. It was, it was wild, and we were doing everything under fluoroscopy, so we're wearing lead, we're sterile. It was, a, it was a really, really cool procedure and probably one of the main ones that got me interested in the interventional radiology. To be confident in yourself. And I know that sounds like a little corny, but I think, you know, as, as medical students, you're either in your, your mid-20s, late-20s, or for some of us, they're coming from a different career, so they're even later in life, and it's kind of easy to fall into this mindset of, I'm just the medical student and you don't have anything to add, you're still learning, it's when will this learning process ever end? Um, but I think us as students, we kind of bring a really enthusiastic and fresh perspective to the table and I think if you keep that in mind and you're confident in yourself and what you bring to the table, you'll, it'll just make your time so much nicer and you'll be a lot more productive because of that. We were all like super nervous, so we were on the outside of the crowd just kind of making light conversation, of course, but trying to <laughs> keep the spirits high. Um, and at noon, of course, you know, everyone gets their, their letter and I opened up my, my envelope and of course I saw I was going to MGH, which I was super excited about. That was absolutely amazing. Just kind of have as positive of an attitude as you can. Um, for me, for interventional radiology, it's a relatively small field, so I actually saw a lot of the same people throughout the interview trail. There's actually someone who's matched over at the Brigham now. He is, I saw him on eight separate interviews, just kind of coincidentally. Um, I didn't know him before the interview trail at all or anything like that, so it's, you see a lot of the same people, so it's really, it'll make your time much more enjoyable if you make friends and kind of be sociable and go to all the resident dinners and events and all that. It's really important to have a really good group of people around you. Um, I was fortunate that my family was very close by, so I was able to see them a lot. And then I had a really good core group of friends here. Um, and it's really important to just kind of keep yourself leveled and kind of always have a group of people that you can talk with and kind of vent to whenever you need to, or just hang out even during during lunch, uh, during lunchtime, going down to the student lounge and just hanging out and relaxing. Hey.